Hey, Crystal Levanway here in Phoenix, uh, battling a little cold today, but not the swine flu, just a cold. But I wanted to chime in on a blog post that came out yesterday by Justin McHood in the Phoenix Real Estate Guide. And I put a link to that blog below so you can check it out. But the gist of it is, who do loan officers answer to? What are their loyalties like? And the bottom line is, it is not the client. Um, in fact, they're not really clients, they're customers. And in the, and the loan officer is really more like a salesperson. And in this case, the salesperson offers the products that they want to sell to the customer. They don't have to necessarily reveal all the products, including the ones that might be best for that customer. And loan officers are compensated by what they sell. So there's a real big um, opportunity for loan officers to take advantage of clients who don't understand the way these mortgages are set up and what happens behind the scenes. Loan officers are compensated in several different ways. Some of the ways are more transparent, like origination fees, discount points, those things you kind of know about ahead of time. But there's this shadowy yield spread premium that's behind the scenes way of being compensated and it might encourage a loan officer who's less than scrupulous to direct a client to an, a loan product that's better for the loan officer than the borrower. So the, it's kind of interesting that all this is coming up because there's a lot of stuff going on right now as we clean up the mortgage industry, lots of changes in the way these products are disclosed to customers, um, more information for them to kind of shop around and see what they're getting. And in fact, the FHA just came out today with a proposal for some rules that are going to require um, anybody who's in the mortgage industry, loan officers, brokers, even um, the people that do the processing are going to be required to do some sort of licensing and or registration so they can kind of keep track on these people being qualified to do the work that they do. It's not the case right now, believe it or not. So all of these things are sort of set up to kind of clean things up and and protect the, the consumers, the borrowers. But I think bottom line is, it really comes down to who you work with. And in real estate, we realtors are governed by a code of ethics, and it's very clearly defined where our loyalties are. Our loyalties are with our clients, and their needs come above our own, above anybody else in the transaction. That's not the case with mortgage officers, but I think, or with loan officers, but I think you'll find that those people who you know, do what they do so that they can look at themselves in the mirror in the morning. They'll follow a code of ethics, whether it's required or not. And those are the people that you want to work with when you're trying to determine the best loan product for your home purchase. So again, not to sound like a broken record here, but it really pays to um, ask around and get some referrals for good loan officers. It's one of the most important decisions that you'll make in a home purchase. And it's not just a matter of who's got the cheapest rate. There's a lot more to it than that. So, you know, ask around, get referrals, talk to different loan officers, and see who you feel comfortable with and who is, seems like they're disclosing the most information. And look for some changes in the mortgage industry that hopefully will help too. So if you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear them. Shoot me an email at kristen at hereinphoenix.com and make it a great day.